Hello, my name is Jerry Root and I'm a developer for Genway Computer Systems. We at Genway Computer Systems are creating a series of short but powerful videos in TIPCO Spot 5 version 7.5 to assist you in enhancing your data formatting skills and to ensure you get the most out of Spotfire. In this exercise, after filtering has taken place, we will use bookmarks to capture a current state of our analysis, then by adding annotations, we will see how easy it is for other users to view and navigate through our analysis and how this tool and technique enhances our presentation abilities. Bookmarks are a great tool to use when you are preparing for a presentation or have a group of people working on one analysis. We will use sales data from a marketing company which required customers to sign up as subscribers in order to track sales. This data set includes age, gender, location, date joined, departmental and total sales. We would like to investigate the total amount of purchases for women between the ages of 40 and 60 as there is a substantial difference in purchases between males and females. We would like to mark and draw down through this data set to view more details regarding our clientele. In our main visualization we are viewing the total sales by age group and lined by gender. We can clearly see that in general women have purchased more than men. It could also possibly reflect that men purchase lower value items than women, as we noticed in the bottom-up analysis demonstration. For this demonstration, I will go ahead and filter to the selected data we would like to investigate. We would like to view the total amount of purchases by members for women aged between 40 and 60, located in Boston and New York, who joined between September 2013 and February 2014. At this point of our analysis, we would like to capture our findings without impacting the original data set as we are not the only members working on this analysis. By creating a bookmark, we capture our filters and markings which allow us to either continue at a later point or to use a set of filters and markings in a presentation to highlight findings. When creating a bookmark, you can either access it through the pop-up view or alternatively dock it onto the analysis. When accessing the bookmark tab, we can see a list of bookmarks that have already been created, showing who created the bookmark and the time the bookmark was created. When we create a new bookmark, we see a set of options available to us. We can apply that specific bookmark. We can apply special, which I will discuss in a few minutes. We can rename our bookmark. We can copy our bookmark as a URL and share this link with different users and clients. This was used more often in previous versions of Spotfire, but annotations have made sharing and communicating within an analysis a whole lot easier. You can share your bookmark through Tiver, which is specifically built for the workplace and is the first social network platform that enables employees, customers and partners to interact with each other and with information located in any system. You can choose to have your bookmark either set as private or public. When a bookmark is selected as private, only you will be able to access the bookmark. If it is set as public, then anyone who has access to this analysis can view your bookmark. A private bookmark is resembled by a single person icon, whereas a public bookmark is set as a group icon. It is important to know that it would be better to have your bookmark set as public should you be working as a group, as this will allow you to select your bookmark when presenting. If your bookmark is set as private, you can only access your bookmark if you are logged in with your username and password. Should you wish to keep your filters and markings in this bookmark and use it for future analyses, you can save the bookmark as a private bookmark. You can also update and delete a bookmark. Once the bookmark is created, notice that when navigating to a different page, the markings and filters of this bookmark reflect there. Yet, should you wish to apply your bookmark to this page, you get navigated back to the specific page where the bookmark was created. This is because the bookmark is a selection of filters and markings based on that page. If you wish to have your bookmarks active on other pages, you can change your bookmark to a special bookmark. One method of applying your bookmark to other pages is by accessing the bookmark drop-down menu and select Apply Special. Here you can select which aspect of your bookmark you would like to apply to this page. Should you wish to apply a second aspect of your bookmark to this page, you would be required to follow the same steps. For us to create the second way of add special bookmarks, we need to navigate to business author mode 
as this feature is not available in web player mode. Let's create a reset filters bookmark that we can use on all pages. When all filters are cleared, right click on the bookmark add button and select the add bookmark special in the drop down menu. Here you can name the bookmark and select which aspects of the analysis you would like to include in this bookmark. For this example, we will only include the filters and markings aspects. When you select Add Bookmarks, you have created a Reset Filters bookmark that will work well on all pages. A new feature in Spotfire version 7.5 is Annotations. Annotations are a great way of commenting on your analysis or adding reminders for yourself within the analysis, almost like a sticky note. When creating an annotation from the top tab, a generic annotation appears. You can change the background or font color and also change the font size. You can duplicate the annotation and use a set of fonts and colors for other annotations, or you can delete the annotation. Annotations can be resized or moved to a specific part of the visualization. Another feature you are able to do with annotations is to save them to bookmarks. This is done in one of two ways. Once you are done drilling down within your analysis, you can create the annotation and then create the bookmark. Or you can select Update from the Options menu in the bookmark. Bookmarks and annotations are a great tool and feature to be aware of when working as a group on an analysis or to create comments and highlights on drilled down information. I hope you have found this demonstration interesting and helpful. Our contact information is on the screen should you wish to reach out to us for assistance in implementing this technique.